Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about AI assistance panel available in the Chrome DevTools which will make you more productive when you are working. And especially in this particular tutorial, we will be talking about the software testing. So let's begin. Nowadays, AI is everywhere and we are utilizing AI on the daily basis to complete our tasks more efficiently and effectively. Now, this AI is enabled within the browser. So we are on the Chrome browser. So what we need to do is that we need to right click somewhere, click on the inspect and go to this settings and here go to this AI innovations and enable these two options. And once you enable this one, you have an AI assistance available within the Chrome browser. OK, so close this one and again, close this one. So this is our test page and it contains the username field and password field. This is a login functionality, right? And now what I will do is that I will right click again and inspect this one. And here we have this AI system here we can write our prompt. Okay. So what I will do is that I will ask the AI to analyze this page and list out the functionalities. So look into this page and list down all functionalities okay so ai will now analyze this particular page and list down the functionalities so as a qa what we can do is that we can ask the ai to find all the functionalities and as per our test case if we need 10 functionalities and ai find eight this means there is some gap you can cross verify and report the bug accordingly so if i scroll this up a bit you see that it identified that this page contains user login right and contains social media links so this contains a company website link now as a queue engineer i know that there is a login functionality so what i will do is that i will ask the ai to write the test cases for this functionality okay so write positive and negative test cases for above login functionality okay and present it so now based on the context i have used the word above this means that it will refer to the above findings and you see that it will create the test cases for you so for the valid testing to test the login with a valid username and a password so this is the valid username this is a valid password this is already provided over here you see and then it will be providing us negative test casing providing a test data as well to do the negative testing of this particular login functionality so you can copy and paste and write the test case over here even it provides the cross-site scripting attempt for this one it will provide the SQL injection so it will provide a lot of information and a lot of test cases which you might not think of as a software tester. So once you have the test cases over here, what else you can do? So as a queue engineer, tomorrow you want to automate this particular login functionality using Zilne with Python. So what I will do is that I will say write Selenium with Python the script to automate above login functionality and press enter so now it will again refer to the above context and it will create the selenium script for you you see that here so it still is working right so it's, it's processing so here is a selenium script in python this is the code this is the url you see that this is amazing it provided the test data based on this particular information right it created the python functions it verified you know the presence of the element located basically and you know every code based on this page html and information available on this page it created the exact test script now obviously you might need to format that and you all might need to know uh, implement this into a page of model design pattern then you can do it but on the initial level every single thing has been 
written for you you just need to copy and paste it right everything everything you see that everything and every other information available including how to save and run this one that's amazing so that's how it will make you more productive more efficient and you can do a work of maybe a week into a day or two using the ai right and this is not the limit over here so let me show you one more example just go to this internet heroku app and here we know that this particular page contains the broken images now what i will do is that right click inspect and i will say find all broken images on this page so for example as a tester i might night i might need to find the broken images broken links right so instead of doing it manually you can ask ai and here you see that i have found two broken images on this page okay you see that there are two broken images and it provided all, all the information about this one now once we find a bug so what what we need to do as a qa or as an automation engineer or as a test engineer what we exactly need to do we need to report a bug so i will say create a bug report on above broken images issues or issue broken image image issue now it will write a bug for you we just need to copy and paste it wherever we are reporting in any tool like jira or maybe in azure wherever we are reporting so even you don't need to write the bug so again it's ai sometimes it's inaccurate but you can change your prompt to get your exact answer from the ai right so it's just analyzing the prompt generating a bug report for the broken images Ending this, fixing the filter method, removing unnecessary map and filter operations, fixing the filter method to check the element presence, doing is all work on your behalf, right? And again, AI is very helpful, it's a very good assistant and it will help you a lot, but it can be inaccurate. You just need to cross verify the things before using the information from here. And now you see that a bug report summary broken images on the page steps to reproduce as a tester what we need to do is that we need to provide the steps to reproduce right open the web page inspect the page source or use the developers tool observe the images on the page expected behavior is this actual behavior is this these images are broken and then this is the browser context this is the url these are the images which are broken everything is provided in this bug report and we when we are reporting a bug we try to provide the maximum information to the developer so that they can fix the issue right so you see that it contains all the information so use this ai assistance it will help you in many ways it, it will make you more productive but at the same time just cross verify the things and then copy and paste the information thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial